the new king's in danger. Run for your life! Get out of the way! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Here's a little well-placed distraction. <laughs> <laughs> So we have another faith-based film on the birth of Jesus Christ. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is B. Avery here for my opinion slash review for Star, or no, excuse me, The Star. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Become one of my subscribers. Also, click that bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. And also, guys, give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Now, the star is an animation adventure comedy uh, with a couple of popular names that you may have heard of by the name of Stephen Young. He plays a donkey by the name of Bo. Uh, Keegan Micah Key. Uh, he's half of the Keegan and uh, was it Keegan? I forgot the other guy's name. I can't believe it just uh, left me. But he is a bird by the name of Dave. And then we also have somebody named A.D. Bryant who plays a bird by the name of Ruth. Uh, this movie is being directed by Timothy Reckhart. You probably never heard of him before. He's done like five or six short films, like animated short films. This is his first full directorial, you know, debut this animation. And, you know, for his first animation, I feel like I'm clipping here. Let me cut this down. Um, you know, th this is a pretty decent 90 minute, not even 90 minute, 86 minute animation, you know, that he kind of wanted to get his uh, toes wet a little bit. And what the story is about is a story that you've heard a ton of times before. It is the story of the birth of Jesus Christ um, in Nazareth and Bethlehem and you know, um, all that good stuff. We've, we've, if you, I can't talk. We've probably heard the story a thousand times before told in many different iterations, but this time they wanted to tell it again in a form of animals in this 2017 animation film. Um, and just, this is going to be real short guys. There is nothing new to this story at all. It is the exact same carbon copied story that you've heard. Like I said, a thousand times. They just try to change the perspective just a little bit and uh, deliver it to you, you know, in the form of animals, uh, mostly by the uh, the donkey by the name of Bo, who is being led by who is being voiced by uh, Stephen Young. Um, I mean, we heard this before, you know, Mary and Joseph, they're married. Um, Mary is a virgin. God speaks to her one day. and Hey, hey, you know, I'm gonna come down and put my seed in you. And I, you, I want you to birth my son into the to the world and he will be the king to all the people. And, you know, this the son of God and Joseph's like, oh, my goodness, you know, I'm not responsible. Like, I, well, I'm not a responsible person. I can't do this. And, you know, a star shoots up into the sky, hence the name of the movie, the star. And everybody sees the star and they just know that's the son of God. And they have to go and, you know, witness the birth of Jesus Christ. And, of course, you know, you have. um the Roman Empire, you know, the, that king, he's hating. is like, no, 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 we got to find us. We got to stop. I'm the king. And you got the three wise men. And then you got the baby in the manger. And then, you know, the three kings are bringing the gold, frankincense and myrrh and all that good stuff. It's it's nothing new to the story at all. Nothing new at all. The only thing that I really did like about this, and there's, there's really, there's nothing bad about this movie. I'm not, I, I, I cannot sit here and list one complaint. I just can't do that. But one thing that it is stood out to me is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is the only thing that was somewhat fresh and new uh, when I saw this. Man, this movie costs eighteen million dollars. I'm looking on IMDb right now, and uh, well, I guess that's fair. I guess, but the soundtrack. I don't know who it's by, but there was a good. Uh, oh, Mariah Carey. Okay, I, I I do recognize. I did recognize her voice a little bit. The soundtrack uh, by Mariah Carey and a few other people. That's the only thing that actually stood out to me. To where when they were playing the music, doing certain songs or whatever, I was like, you know, okay, I'm feeling this or whatever. It's you know, adding a little beat here and there, giving some life to the story. But there is nothing new to this story at all. Um, there was like a couple of times to where they tried to drop a joke and I kind of chuckle like, ha, 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 you know, and that's it. That maybe happened twice, maybe three times. 
But, you know, for an 86 minute movie, I was ready to go. I've seen this uh, story told a thousand times. It was just nothing special. Uh, it's the same thing. It was predictable. You know, it just wasn't anything new. This movie was for a little. It is not a kid friendly movie, you know, like Coco were or, or just any Pixar film or whatever to where, you know, it's made for adults, you know, but kids can watch it too or it's kid friendly. No, this movie is tailored just for children, you know, five and below or I, I don't know. I don't have any children, so I don't know the ages and all that as to what they can be entertained by. But, you know, this is designed for children. It was only 86 minutes and I was just ready to go or whatever. I mean, I've heard this story a thousand times since I was like two or three years old. And even when I got a little older, I was just kind of saying to myself, you know, okay, now some of the, all the stuff that they used to teach me when I was a little kid doesn't make sense. And they had that little bit of that in here too, as to, you know, has to deal with, you know, people's skin color and skin tone and stuff, but I'm not going to get into that now. Uh, but there's nothing bad about the movie, but there's nothing great about it either. It is just a bland movie that, uh, in my opinion, I could not wait to, uh, for it to be over. If I had to rate this movie out of a one out of 10, I'm going to give this the lowest possible passing grade there is in my book. And that is a six out of 10. Yes, a six out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion for the star. Have you seen it or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Become one of my subscribers so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can also click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. Also, go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark it. I do have written reviews for all the latest films. Just my opinion.net. I would really appreciate it. And also, guys, look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But, guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my short opinion slash review for The Star. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brendan Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.